This is a 32 inch diameter gyro wheel weighing 50 pounds, close to 50 pounds at roughly 25 inches from the pivot point. So we're going to start this up with a six volt battery which barely spins this thing. It's equal to this little it's equal to this little motor here. Same motor. And it's 2.5 inch pounds at 12 volts. So we put 6 volts onto this and it takes nothing to stop it. It's just no visible torque. So now you can figure out that this is close to 1200 inch pounds. when we lift this. So we're spinning up and we will let this do what it's going to do. So we're actually torquing up this 1200 inch pounds with a motor rated at 2.5 at 12 and we're putting 6 volts in. Now, if this is conservation of energy or whatever, too much torque, much, not much more than it takes to spin this when it's static. We can end up angling this up. Into a spiral. So basically that is our little thing here. Disconnect the battery, so now we're putting no power into this. And it maintains precession relatively reasonable. But the point is that we're doing 1200 inch pounds of work with a spinning wheel driven by a motor that's only capable of putting out really half of 2.5 uh, inch pounds.